Salute. It's your boy Zaire. Battle Thon. Y'all already know what it is, man. Salute to Pull No Punches, Charmaine, Miss New York, Yo Yo Rap Reviews, DOA, The Control Room, Dread Archie, and my boy C Double, Indian Animal. So, um, <clears throat> we all heard the news about um, Facebook uh, changing its name, right? So, we're thinking that that's just, that's just it. It was breaking news. Facebook changes its name, all of this stuff, right? Um, but the process wasn't so smooth, right? So, according to reports, the transition from Facebook to the company's new name, which is Meta, is not as easy as we think it is. A computer company called Meta PC applied to a trademark for the word Meta for anything that is related to computers, tablets, software, and other tech-related products. The men behind Meta PC told TMZ they've been in business for a little over a year and moved to trademark the name to build their brand further. The company hasn't yet been awarded the trademark, but they do have a leg up on Facebook's in hopes of landing the name. Meaning, they have been at it for almost a year, right? Mark Zuckerberg is possibly, may not get the name um, unless he offers a certain dollar amount. So, Meta PC founders Joe, Joe Darger and Zach Shutt said they are willing to give up the quest to trademark Meta, if Zuckerberg and Facebook would just pay over twenty million dollars, they all they want is twenty million for the name. So mind you, right? Battletown, motherfuckers. Paper, if you ain't been on Battletown, use a motherfucking lane, nigga. I'm here to tell you that right now. I'm from the D, and I came to New York to get on Battletown. So if any of you niggas who, who really call yourself doing this shit and ain't been on Battletown, you a motherfucking lane, my nigga. Flat the fuck out. Get you a Battletown interview, my nigga. Let some niggas hear you talk some real shit, my nigga. You feel me? Easy. If Mark Zuckerberg really wanted the name Meta for Facebook, he would just give them $20 million because there's hundreds of millions, uh, over a billion people on Facebook every day. Now, when you think about that, right, and you think about how many people spend money on Facebook every day for marketing, campaigning, whatever the case may be, they spend the money on, right? When you think about that, right? Or you say, damn, $20 million is, is light compared to if you have a billion users, or let's say he even had 100, let's say he only had 100 million people on Facebook, right? Let's say he had 100 million people on Facebook every day, but out of 100 million people, let's say out of 100 million people, only 1% of those people spent at least $10 every day. Twenty dollars every day on campaigning, which is really way more people than that. I have clients who actually have a five thousand dollar a month budget on marketing and campaigning. So out of that five thousand dollars, I tell them, "Hey, listen, um, I'll take fifteen percent. I'll take twenty percent." And it's like, "Huh? Yeah, I'll take a thousand. I'll, I'll take I'll take twenty percent of that, just to help you continuously grow." So now, if you have a million people spending ten dollars every day out of a hundred million people. You're making ten million dollars a day just off that. I'm not talking about how much money people are investing in Facebook gaming. I'm not talking about what uh, as far as what people are investing in advertising. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm just talking about every day ten million dollars from people just dumping money at Facebook. Just just ten ten million dollars, right? That name is only twenty million. What he could stand to make off of it? Billions, billions. I think that these people will be lucky enough for Mark Zuckerberg to buy the company. I believe they'll. I believe Mark will fork over twenty twenty million for the name. I think he would. I mean, I would. It just makes sense. Um, even though now, mind you, even though they feel like the number is high, even though Mark Zuckerberg is a billionaire, it would take tons of money to rebrand the company because they've been working at this for a while um and who knows how long mark thought about changing the name but they jumped on it before him you know trademarking is definitely a very good commodity when it comes to having residual income when it comes to uh just putting things out there and and, and making money patents it's very, a lot of money and things of that nature so um people are always looking to buy your name uh, especially if you have something that could be universal like meta meta i mean 
meta world peace you know ron artest's name you know it's, it's so many different things you can think of when it comes to meta it's like damn these guys actually thought about this way before um a lot of people did not only mark mark zuckerberg or the facebook company but they thought about this before a lot of people did because it's like damn you're trademarking the word meta that's related to t cell phones electronics pcs and other tech so like that's that's insane who would think about doing that which would probably put me in a position to say hey that's smart let me think of something that i can trademark that nobody else has trademarked yet but people will need later on down the line love life and loyalty is the model man stay safe stay real and stay true you rock with me i rock with you you already know what it is man battle thon pull no punches one